it's like 6.30 in the morning on Sunday, February 24th, I think. It snowed again. So cool. It snowed. Yay. Good morning, everyone. It's Monday morning, February 25th, I think. Uh, we got some more snow. We got more snow. Not as much as yesterday, but it's supposed to be colder for most of the day today than it was yesterday. So cool. So while the coffee pot's making another cup of coffee, we'll go upstairs and turn the computer on. I've been working um, in Pauline Agnew's class. I got caught up on my homework yesterday. Hang on, it's gonna be dark for a minute. There we go. <sighs> anyway, I got caught up in my homework from Pauline's class. Um, we're learning about a few different artists, including one named Barbara Ray, who I'm really liking her style, and I'm going to have to get her book and or find her on the internet. But this is a piece I did based on one of her pieces that we used in class. And then I did a another one based on actually the view out my back window at sunset and then I did this one which is from oops this picture so I got caught up on that yesterday now today and tomorrow I'm gonna be working on filming YouTube videos because I haven't done any of those for March yet, and they're due in a few days. So I'm a little behind. <sighs> There's the computer, so we're gonna get our day started. I'm gonna have some more coffee first, and we'll get right to it. I don't know if it's cold enough to snick, to snick, hello, <laughs> to stick or not, but it's snowing again. I love it, but it's a super cool idea to stay in and do some filming today, I think. You know, I'm trying to fix lunch <laughs> and eat lunch while things are drying upstairs so I can finish filming for March for YouTube. And I'm just, it's snowing. I don't even know if you can see that on camera, but it's snowing. Yes, I'm out here in my short sleeves. It's, I don't know, about 38, probably, I'm guessing. I love it. Anyway, all right, let's go eat lunch. The weather app, it's 35. Doesn't seem that cold to me. I don't know what that says. All right, I'm gonna eat lunch now, I'll be back. Hey everybody, it is Tuesday morning. February something. I have no idea what the date is. The 25th, maybe? Uh, 26th? Might be the 26th. I don't, I honestly have absolutely no idea. I haven't looked this morning, which is funny because I've already been on the computer for a couple of hours working, doing daily posts, filling Etsy orders and things like that. In fact, the first place we're going to go is McCann so I can drop off the said Etsy orders. Um, but I have no idea what the date is because I haven't paid any attention. I just know it's Tuesday. But, you know, baby steps. <laughs> um, okay, sorry about the weird lighting. It may be winter and it may be in the Pacific Northwest. You'd think it was cloudy all the time. But when the sun decides to come out, holy cow is it bright. Um, I decided to stop at Dollar Tree on the way to Fred Meyer. So I really wanted to start... I Not wanted to, I already did start... Um, being smarter about how I'm filming. I already filmed for the edit. What does that mean? So I'll film the intro and then I'll stop the camera Then I'll start working on the project after I've started the camera again And I try my best to just cut out the in-between parts Sometimes there's still parts I need to cut out or speed up and take the sound out But I try to just not have the camera on and just have it rolling with lots of dead time. I Also don't always film things in order though 
So that's a thing because I'm working on multiple projects at once. So I was taking a post-it note and a Sharpie and writing on the note and putting it in front of the camera what video this clip that I'm going to film is for and or section. I thought, oh, I going to use a lot of paper. So I stopped at Dollar Tree and I got a little small chalkboard and some chalk. And we're going to have something more like what they have in the movies. Well, at least, oh, I don't know. I'm not in the movie business. At least they used to show that they had in the movies where they had that clapper board. And on the board it had what they were filming, which scene, which take, and all of that stuff. So we're going to do something along those lines, but simpler, with the chalkboard from now on when I'm filming. So... I think that's going to make my editing life a lot easier. So they had that. Of course, they had a couple other things I've been looking for um, that I weren't sure. Weren't sure. That's proper English. Wasn't sure they were going to have. Um, it was on the way to Fred Meyer, so I thought, well, let me just stop. Um, I figured if they had the little chalkboards and chalk, that it would be a lot cheaper to get it there than at Fred Meyer, and I was right. So now we're going to head over to Fred Meyer and get the rest of our stuff and then head home. I'll be back. I wanted to share this with you. It's the view of the sun setting out of our back window or our back door of our house. It's so beautiful. I've painted it a couple of times. I'll probably do it again. I love the colors. So inspirational. Good morning. It's Wednesday morning, um, February 27th, I think. I think. Don't quote me on that. But anyway, we woke up to some more snow. A few inches of it at least. And as you can see by the tire tracks in the road, the husband tried to go out to go to work. And it is just a bit too slippery. So he turned around and came home. And he's working from home today. Oh, there's the neighbor's cat. She's stalking something. Anyway, so I love the beautiful snow, but I am glad I'm working from home. That works for me. All right, that's it. I've got a day of video editing to do, maybe some zooming with art friends, and I've got some sewing projects to cut out and a couple of other projects to catch up on, including the eyeball journal, which I still have to film a tutorial on. I am going to do that. <sighs> busy, busy, busy. All right, that's it for now. I'll be back. Anyway, I want to just sit on the couch and be a potato all day, get lost in YouTube videos, Dr. Pimple Popper, because that's a thing. Ay, ay, ay. Um, or, you know, watch my soap opera or something. But that being said, I am going to go upstairs and I'm going to clean off my table. I've got some stuff on there to clean off. I've got to um, clean, work on a closet upstairs and um, get some stuff cleaned in there. I need to message my husband and ask him to get packing tape on the way home because he took my car and I am not driving his car. Um, what else? I need to get some stuff ready. I need, I have a couple journaling things to catch up on. I also have a sewing project, another sewing project. so. I need to get set up for those and yeah, I should be doing laundry or dishes, but I'm going to put that off for a little bit because you know, why not? All right. Good I'll morning, be back. everybody. <laughs> yes. I'm vlogging in my pajamas again with my hair on like, yeah. Anyway, it's Thursday morning. It's really early. Um, it's like a quarter to 8 AM. Um, and it's the 28th of February. I only know that because tomorrow's March 1st. Like, yeah, so anyway. I was up kind of late-ish last night getting video loaded to YouTube and scheduled and everything. One of them comes out tomorrow. Anyway, today um, I'm past all that and I've got all the March video commitments filmed. So today I have my Traveler's Notebook journal that I'm going to catch up on. Um, which I'm behind on and then I have a couple sewing projects to cut out 
and I need to um, catch up on the lessons from Pauline Agnew's class because I'm behind again. Because that's a thing. So um, I also need to catch up on the eyeball journal because it's been a few days since I did any eyeballs, so I need to work on that too. Okay, so we got it all of our mail off at McCann's. I haven't been out of the house in like, I don't know, two days or three days. Two days, I think. So it's good to get out even if I'm just coming down the street to the post office. I did stop at Grocery Outlet, which is right next door, to check it out, but I also was looking for a couple things. I need a couple of plastic cutting boards that I can use for paint palettes, for acrylic paint. Now for watercolor paint and small acrylic projects, I prefer my porcelain palettes, but when I'm working on a bigger project, with the new art room and the new setup that we have. They can be um, a problem, so to speak. So I don't have ready access to a utility sink. This house was built without one, which is weird. And we'll be fixing that hopefully soon. In the meantime, um, even if we did have one, but also in the meantime, I am going to be more mindful of how I'm disposing of paint products that I that you know dried paint on the palette I'm not just gonna rinse stuff down the sink I have a whole setup in the um, upstairs bathroom for rinsing out brushes and disposing of the sludge in a safe manner if you all would like to see that let me know put something in the comments um, the palette leftovers are I want to do the same thing. So if it's a small palette of watercolor, I can just leave it dry and keep using it um, or wipe it off with a baby wipe. The same with if it's acrylic. I can just wipe it off with a baby wipe and throw the baby wipe in the in the garbage. And then that's not going down the drain and into the you know water system. With a larger palette, it takes a lot of baby wipes. So that wasn't really a great solution. It worked, but it took a lot of baby wipes. And I'm also switching to a baby wipe that's biodegradable. After using Kirkland wipes for years. So that's going to be an interesting switch. Um, so I really wanted to use some sort of paper on a palette um, for the larger projects. That was, you know, I could just lift up the paper and I could, you know let it dry and use it for collage or I could throw it in the trash it's easier to clean it the cleanup is easier um, so okay that worked but I didn't really want to just have a loose paper piece of paper on the table uh, palette paper is really expensive so I didn't think that was a good viable solution um, I like to just use wax paper from the dollar store to be honest or parchment paper again from the dollar store that works great but then you need something underneath it I have lots of cookie sheets in the art room that I use for drying different things um, but when you're mixing paint the lip on the cookie sheet kind of gets in your way and it's frustrating so I thought well, what about something flat like a cutting board you know, cheap plastic cutting board that would work. So I just went to the grocery outlet. I was looking for something that's fairly sizable that I could use for smaller big projects, and they had one. I think it was like four dollars or something. Um, they also had a Ninja Blender, and it was cheap too. Why do I need that? That has nothing to do with painting. I'm going to be collecting a few different supplies, not too much, but I want to make my own paper. I want to use junk mail, newspaper, maybe um, Etsy store printing mistakes, and dried things from nature. I do live next to the woods, so dry tree moss and things like that to make my own paper. How cool would that be? So I hey already. Guys, have... it is still Thursday. Did I even say that earlier? I don't even know. It is cold. Hello, I live in the Pacific Northwest. But it's not snowing anymore. In fact, the snow's mostly melted. That hasn't completely all melted, but mostly so. 
Anyway, it is just about three o'clock. I've had a snack, didn't really need the snack, but I ate it anyway, you know how it goes. Um, I'm gonna go grab a sweater because I am a little cold and I refuse to turn the furnace up any, ho any higher. It's at 70, so I like it there because, well, I'm still <laughs> menopausal and you know, one minute I'm cold, the next minute I'm hot. Although since moving to Portland, I am more cold than anything. And you know what? I'm okay with that. <laughs> um, but it's not summer yet, so they don't get as hot up here for as long as we did in California, but they do have that happen. Um, anyway, I am just getting my fat ass off the sofa, to be honest. And I'm gonna head upstairs. I got the sewing project I was working on all cut out. I got the fusible fleece fused <laughs> and all the pieces pressed, so we're ready to go. So I'm gonna start working on that probably tomorrow. I haven't caught up on my homework yet with Pauline's class. Class is over tomorrow, so, well, the live portion of the class is over tomorrow. She gives you like lifetime access, so I'll be catching up over the weekend, as will other people, I'm sure. But right now, I'm going to check on my computer, and I'm going to finish catching up on my Traveler's Notebook journal and do the actual writing, journaling part in it for February, and then paste. I have to paste in the calendar for March, because tomorrow's March. And that's it. I can't really do much else until I get the sewing project out of my way because it's taking up the whole table, but that's okay. And, uh, yeah. Quiet afternoon here, but I'm good with that. All right, I'll be back. Morning. It's Friday, March 1st, 8.59 a.m. Don't get all excited. I'm at the desk. That's how I know. <laughs> I've already been up for well over an hour filling Etsy orders, and I went outside and... Went for a little walk to the mailbox to send some things off. I <sighs> had two cups of coffee and breakfast, but I really, really feel like I need more coffee. So I may have to go downstairs and make some more. <laughs> um, you know, it's it's been an interesting morning without getting into it too much. I keep seeing me, um, Facebook posts that were in between some sort of super moon thing and Mercury in retrograde and like, I don't know. I just know this week's been interesting. I've lost my phone twice. Once was inside of one of um, the sewing projects I was making. Good thing I didn't send the project off to the friend I was making it for. And I checked before. Uh, you know, that's a thing. I've lost my phone like three times this week. That hasn't happened in a while. I had to unfriend somebody I'm blood related to on Facebook because I just can't take their political posts anymore. I, you know, it's been a week. So anyway, I'm going to sit and do some more computer work for a little bit, maybe make that other cup of coffee and then I'm going to get some sewing done because I've got some more sewing to do. and. I've got painting lessons to catch up on because I still haven't done that yet, so we'll see what happens. I'll hey guys, back. it is Saturday, March 2nd. Don't get all excited. It's already 11 o'clock. Well, technically, 11.04 according to my car. Um, I've been up for a while since about 6.30 this morning, the second time I woke up. Long enough to check calendars and clocks. And Anyway. I was out already early-ish this morning, not not butt crack of dawn early, but um, early-ish, taking my daughter and husband to the airport there to California for an overnight trip to celebrate my mother-in-law's birthday. Everybody wish Betty Aarons a happy birthday. She is 90 years old. That is a, that is a great accomplishment. I am home working. I've got I've got projects that have got to be done, uh, paying paying projects, and um, so I stay home. Anyway. Turn left, then turn left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She uses 
telling me where to go again. Um, anyway, so I am dropped them off at the airport and now I'm out running a few errands and then I'm gonna go home and work on set projects. Hey guys, uh, it is still Saturday. It's really late. What time is it? 10.38 p.m. I got all of my sewing projects done that I was working on. They're all finished and we can clean up all the thread off the floor and pack it away for a while. Woohoo! <laughs> um, I can now catch up on my last week of homework from Pauline Agnew's class, which ended yesterday and I haven't done any of the work. So I need to do that. That's my priority right now. And then I need to revisit my clipboard, I think, is the next thing. I do have a couple of journals to catch up on. And I've got my live broadcast with Intervals of Sanity tomorrow. So busy, busy, busy. But that's okay. The sewing was a big project and that's out of the way. The next biggest thing is the... Um, logo and design work I'm doing uh, for a client and... Uh, concept drawings. So once I get word back from them on the current batch of concept drawings, we'll do some more drawings, have them look at that, make sure they like that, and then put everything together, make sure they like that, then do the real thing. So, you know, it's a process. Um, that's it right now, I think. I will make sure to link any relevant links in the description below, like always. I did spend some time late this evening updating um, a few pieces of artwork um, in Redbubble and Society6 shops. I have them in my link tree, so you can look at them um, and all the other places you can find my merchandise, support my free con the free content on my channel, um, buy art, my artwork, buy my rubber stamps, all that stuff. You can find all the links for all that. Uh, follow me on social media. All those links are in my link tree, which is in the description below. And that's it for right now. So it's been a fun week. Uh, a little tired. It's kind of late. So I think I'm going to finish watching this episode of Law and Order. Yes, I'm a fan. And then I'm going to go to bed with a book. And that's going to be it for right now. I hope you all had a great week and a great day. And don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.